Hey all, Turtle here, coming at you with another Pokemon video. So today, we have one of these Sword and Shield Ultra Premium Collections that we're going to be cracking. Um, Rankly got these from got this from Target as opposed to all my pre-orders. I guess there was some kind of issue and um, other things got recalled, but I uh, did manage to pick this up from Target. I uh, got a pretty good deal. I think I bought this when they had like a 10% off coupon and it was starting at 90. However, it might have been a little bit better to leverage that 25 off of $100. Um, but anyway, we do have one of these. We'll get and I'll kind of give you my thoughts about this product. Uh, but we're gonna have a kind of a mail day as well. Picked up some stuff from fresh from Japan. We have the BD. This is the trainer trainer card collection. Uh, so I think I'm gonna keep this sealed. But inside they do have some Japanese packs, which I don't really collect. Uh, comes with a folio and then a signed quote unquote trainer card. But they have some pretty unique arts and they, yeah. So that's like. BD signature, I guess, and then we got the hop version. I do like this art. You kind of have um, Sonya in the background, and not sure what he's doing. Uh, look, his signature is kind of, kind of weird. And then, last but not least, we have the Marnie one. Definitely, I think this is the funniest art. Uh, got Marnie in the background on the TV, and she's practicing smiling with her signature there. So happy to have these. I think um, picked this up for like less than thirty dollars a pop. And now I think on eBay they're going for like 75, which feels pretty inflated. One thing to note is not full art, but I actually don't mind this. So this is unique because it has a different picture and this, you know, this signature or whatever. Um, but not to kind of like completely overtake, you know, the alternate arts that will be that are in like shiny star GX and such. So I kind of like that and pretty cool product. All right, so now we have some singles. So basically, uh, TCG Player and Troll and Toad had some pretty good stuff on Black Friday. TCG Player had 10% cash back. So I managed to pick up some stuff. This is just, you know, if whenever we do have live events, uh, if I do play Expanded versus Seeker Dozing Machine. And we did get a Shiny Charizard GX. Uh, so this is in a KMC as opposed to Penny Sleeve because the back, or you can't see the back, did have kind of like a kind of a nick on it. So I don't won't be sending this to PSA. This will go into my master set binder then we have some magic cards um yeah just a lot of cool cards that have gotten some reprints lately and uh should i ever decide to play uh would be good prepared with a play set of fetch lands walking ballista from secret lair which i do have boxed up sealed but i didn't open the plus they mire some legends so this is the raiko sukun um i do feel like i don't know maybe in five years these cards will pop off I think they're very unique. Beth, uh, definitely a very unique art style and very cool. And then some of the primes from that same era. So most of these for Troll and Toad. So Troll and Toad near mint, just like oh, I'll pick up these near mint cards and send them off to PSA. I feel like Troll and Toad's near mint is more often than not, especially unless it's like brand new stuff, is starts off at like a PSA eight. Here's our biggest card. We did get the, so I went the singles route for the Pikachu. And so we do have them in our collection, uh, quote unquote near mint, but it is kind of like off center. So actually this one I was fine with the condition. Uh, I'll probably have this in a binder. I'm pretty sure this would fetch a nine. Dragon's Majesty, been meaning to pick this guy up for a long time just to check him off. Once again, center is not great, but uh, so he'll go in the binder. And I think, actually, I'm not sure if you can see it. Th this mark is on the sleeve, but uh, to the right of it, there is a dent in the card, so probably definitely would not get the 10. And then a couple more magic cards. These are from the Ikoria, the cool Godzilla cards. And for magic, you know, wait a couple sets. There's so many hype sets that after few months the singles are actually quite cheap so those were that was the mail day uh still have a bunch of stuff on route so we'll do another one of these soon but let's crack open this box and see what what's in store uh super heavy but be right back all right so this thing is pretty cool so we just have this box off to hold the camera and then you kind of open it like this and i'm not sure if this is designed to be kind of like if you play on tabletop and you know you just have an area where you play this is just where you store everything and has all these drawers, which is really neat. So let's just see what's in here. All right, we got some of the, the book information. Um, I imagine the, the dice is, well, I might have to take this out just to pull out all the uh, compartments. All right, well, to go back to that one, let's see what we have in here. Ooh, we got the promo, the Zacian Pro. All right, so very cool. Um, 
All right, how do I feel about this? Because they already have the gold rare, but you know, as long as it's a promo, I don't mind new rarities. I would prefer alternate arts, uh, but you know, I don't have to pull this, so I'm fine with that. We got some of the sleeves, very cool. And we got some packs in there. We'll take those out later. Let's see, we got the coin, or the dice. Ooh, very heavy dice. So, and I really like the numbers, how they do those now. And there should be two sets. Ooh, the gold dice. Weird that, wait a minute. Oh, the dice are probably in there just loose. It's like, I'm missing some dice. And then we have the Zamazenta promo. Um, let's just take a quick look at centering. Centering feels pretty good. Uh, one person mentioned that these might've gotten recalled, the ones from like hobby shops and stuff, due to kind of like promo condition. And I'm all for that. Yeah, I have to wait a little bit longer, but remember um, the Hidden Fates Super Premium Collection with the Rayquaza statue that almost all of them were damaged? Um, if it was the promos, it would have been a huge fiasco. I was like, you know what, they should have just recalled them. And I'll give the Pokemon the benefit of the doubt. Maybe that's what happened here. So these promos look very sweet. So I'll let it slide. And all right, so pretty cool box. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this, but I like it. And we have a whole mess of packs. Should be 16 packs to open. So I'm just going to clean this up and we'll start cracking some packs. All right, so one more thing is they do have these really cool metallic coins uh, and it's you know, it's pretty hefty. I like it. If I uh, needed a coin right now, I would use these over any of the others. But uh, all right, we got 16 packs. And just to talk about kind of like, all right, if we were to buy this product, oh, almost, you know, every single time the, if you do what you want, the promos, the singles is the way to go. And whether or not that's the case or still is the case for this product. Um, but if you have any use for kind of like all that stuff, that really nice box and these coins, I do think this is definitely worth picking up one of. Um, definitely not something you want to open too many. Look at this, like Nick on all these cards. But getting multiple of these, um, you know, I can't imagine what you would do with all that stuff. So we got to hit off our first pack, a Delmize V. Where's my sleeves? We will take it. Oh, blast from the past. I haven't it's been quite a while since uh, opened a good amount of sword and shield packs. Hey, um, I will say though. 16 packs and let's say you, you pick this up from some kind of you know deal uh, whether it's the target 10% off the 25 off 7 or 25 off 100 you know if I'll evaluate this thing as you know as if it was paid like $80 for it uh, I would yeah basically fall under the category of yeah worth getting one um, don't get more than one at this point you have a lot of stuff that you'll never use and if you'd want a bunch of those promos at that point, go towards the single market. All right, Sword and Shield. Wouldn't mind a Snorlax. Sobble Rhyhorn. Lanoon into just a Raichu. I think through the Rebel Clash Darkness of Blaze, we'll probably pick up the pace a little bit. Actually, we'll start picking the pace now. We'll just go straight to the rare slot. We don't need to hit those uncommons. Gengar, sweet art. Into Gengar. All right, Rebel Clash. Let's see. Every single product comes with bosses orders now. So not too much to find here. Uh, actually, you know what? We'll skip the commons. That might be the way to go. Lombre, Oliena into a Stojourner. Uh, if you are a patron or you are interested in getting one of these broke, uh, broke for you on the channel, I do have a good amount of pre-orders, which the last I heard, update I heard saw from the MVP website uh, should be December 22nd is when they will have it. So I guess around Christmas time is when I'll probably get my pre-orders. So I should have plenty for breaks. Check out the Discord page if you're interested. If you are a patron, you get very sweet prices. Most of them, um, I think the only thing that is like at regular price is Hidden Fates tins, but everything else I do below MSRP, Malamar V. Hit number two. So out of 16 packs, um, let's, you know, I feel like getting definitely at least one textbook hit, ideally off of Vivid Voltage. We need a well-centered Rainbow Pikachu. 
Alright, last of Rebel Clash. Ooh, Sonya, nice. Actually, you know what? I feel like this card's pretty good. Search your deck. Two basic Pokemon, two basic energy. Put them into your hand. Very nice. And uh, actually, let's take a look at centering. I don't think it's unlikely that I would want to grade this. Actually, this looks perfect. So I take back what I just said. Uh, my initial thought was have it for the binder collection, but we'll get it graded. All right, on to a Darkness of Blades. Looking for Charizard V Max version one, because now there are going to be three versions of this card that we have to chase. And uh, was it called Shining Fates? Come. Was it February? I did a video on my thoughts about Shining Fates. It actually pretty well, so thank you all for the positive feedback. And if you haven't seen it, check it out. Alright, Darkness of Blaze pack number two. Pupitar, powerful energy into a Flygon. But yeah, so in conclusion, I stand by what I was saying earlier. Um, it does have a good amount of packs, but I wouldn't recommend buying too many of these. I think it's worth one, and then if you want some promos to send to PSA, go towards the single market. And actually, from my experience from like Black Friday and stuff, it is kind of tricky, you know, trying to buy stuff to get graded, where eBay... Um, you can actually look at the card to kind of take a look at centering. Troll and Toad, TCG player, sometimes you get better prices. Um, but I feel like Troll and Toad, you know, it's almost like best case scenario is, all right, there's no damage on it, but it's just off center. So I can get a PSA 9. I find that has been my general experience more than not when I have some cards that are a few years old I take a look at the back, it's like, oh my gosh, this is terrible, this is not near mint. Uh, some of those cards, I actually emailed Troll and Toad, it's like, you know, this is like mod play at best. Uh, that usually offers some kind of like partial refund, uh, but pretty annoying that that happens on the regular basis. So just something to keep in mind, where Troll and Toad, sometimes they have good prices, but the quality is definitely in question. All right, winding down, two packs remaining. Let's get at least one Vivid Voltage hit. Although given the amount of packs we opened, I'm pretty happy with the results, and I'm happy with that full art Sonya. Alright, comes down to you, last pack magic, here we come. Alright, here we go. Bay into a Zapdos. So that's going to be it for me today. As always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe all down below. I'm Wanda Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.